This is The Sim Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, but the real star today's show are you guys, the pit crew, because you are here for today's edition of The Pit Stop. So, a little bit of a somber morning, and before I say anything, if you want to be respectful to me, uh, let's not turn this political, but I got a lot of phone calls, emails, uh, messages on Facebook this morning, because those who know me know that I live in Thousand Oaks, and as it turns out, there is another act of violence, I'm just going to call it for this sake, uh, at a place called the Borderline Grill, which is like less than a mile to me. Um, I'm fine. Everyone I know is fine. But, uh, you know, my, my heart really goes out to, to people affected by tragedy like this because it's so uncalled for. So all I'm going to say on this topic, and I don't want this political at all, and I said this last time there's a, a, a tragedy. This time, I'll admit, though, it hits a lot closer to home. Uh, that place is 0.8 of a mile. It's not even a mile from my house. Um, so anyway, it, it, it does hit very close to home. Uh, but all I'm going to say, and and this is the only answer to things like this, it, it has nothing to do with politics. This is the bottom line. We all have an obligation as parts of our society. If you have a friend, a family member, a co-worker, and they are showing signs of of distress, of, of being in trouble, of depression. You need to help. You need to find out. You need to steer them in the right direction. And and if we all play our part, things like this might be defused because it we can get political. It doesn't matter the vehicle. There are so many ways to do horrible things. That's my point. The real point here is we, the citizens, we, the people, have an obligation to be better by helping out and looking out for our friends family, co-workers, people, and our neighbors. So that's all I'm going to say on the topic other than I'm I'm a little hit hard by this one. Again, it was very, very close to home. It's, it's a topic I'm tired of waking up to, and I think we all are. So anyway, that's that. Let's move into sim racing before I uh, get myself in trouble here. Jeez. Uh, so what is going on? Thank you for being here. Happy Thursday to everybody, and I hope uh, we can turn things into a better direction. But uh, sim racing. Sim racing is where I find my pleasure. Sim racing is where I have so many great friends, and, uh, I think that's important in life, too, to have hobbies, things that you like to do, people you hang out with and enjoy being with virtually or physically. So, let's get into the sim racing world. Forza Motorsport. Uh, just a couple little things out of them. This one's actually kind of interesting. I read it, and it kind of made me think, oh, this is kind of weird. We are aware of an issue where Forza 7 players are incurring 100% damage on their car when running over curbs on certain tracks when using simulation damage settings. And I'm thinking, wait, wait, wait. Where's the problem? Where's the... Uh, wait, I'm, on, I'm playing it on simulation damage settings. Wouldn't I expect and want 100% damage? Or is that just that one curb hit meant your car blew up? You hit a full 100% damage. Maybe that's where the issue is. So, um, anyway, uh, they are working on a fix to that ASAP. Stay tuned for more on timing. Uh, in addition to that, they did tweet three hours ago, it's, it's no surprise that a portion of the 911 GT3 RS is your community car choice winner and will be the winter Forzathon shop. We promise to put the puns on ice soon. <laughs> Welcome to Winter Horizon from Forza Horizon 4 and their, uh, seasonal events which is cool i mean i i'll applaud the seasonal events just in the concept of the game was built on having four seasons that's a somewhat unique to our gaming experience i like that and in addition to that they've made seasonal challenges which hey touche mm. uh you shattered an oil pan before on a sausage curb really so it did need some work and adjustment says edgar and you're welcome, everybody, for being here. Uh, I, I, I appreciate all you guys a lot. I, I really mean that. So, um, anyway, what else we have going on? Gran Turismo, known issue in sport mode, online races. Look at that, the big boys. The big boys having known issues. Currently in sport mode, we're experiencing the following issues at the start of daily races and championship races. A car should be in motion to the left and right. A, a, a car that should be in motion shakes to the left and right and remains on the starting grid for some time. A car starts halfway through the track. Anyway, the issues will be fixed in the next update. 
And while the races can still be played, they are experiencing some problems. They they apologize. They're apologetic. Um, <laughs> Dirty Sanchez. <laughs> Sanchez. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, last night I was Dirty Sanchez. I was terrible last night. There's my coffee, you know, with my saying, I'll see you on the track. You got that GPL style car jumping at Nordschleife and the Simpit logo. It's a three of a kind. I think there are three of these in the world. Mm. All right, what else we got, you guys? What else we got? Cody's blog, talking about getting ready for the Brazil Grand Prix. We saw two different, you know, real-life alien, real-life drivers and alien sim racers, uh, Rudy and Landon, uh, Lando, uh, Landon, uh, Lando, Carissian, uh, get ready for the Brazil Grand Prix and win F1 2018 mar merchandise. And then they show a bunch of cool 4K screenshots. That was our thumbnail of the day because it was one of these beautiful shots right here. But we get to the bottom. We've got five sets of F1 2018 merchandise. So it's a photo competition is what they're basically talking about here at their Cody's blog. You can win a steel book, a t-shirt, a notebook, a pen, and a lanyard that they're giving away. Five sets of them. How can you get your hands on these? We want to see what you can do. Show us your best photo mode. You could go look up a Yorkie guide on photo. Uh, I know Yorkie from the Project Cars 2 did a, a photo one. You can go get some great photo shots. Send them in to F1. Uh, all you have to do is show us your best at... At, you got to be at Autodromo, so Jose Carlos. So you got to be at Brazil, and they're going to pick the best five or five of the best, and send it to us I'm at, at Formula One Game on Twitter using hashtag F1 2018. Anyway, that is an easy and actually that's kind of a fun competition to enter. So all you have to do is go do a cool photo. Thank you much. I love the 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 mug. Um, <laughs> bushes. Special transport, Tim, we're going to talk about that. I got that topic today for sure. Uh, weigh in on Sim versus Simcade. Uh, we're going to have to leave that one for a Sim Tunnel topic, Brandon. Uh, we're going to have, we're going to, as soon as I return, Brandon's going to help me put together, uh, we're getting the Sim Tunnel back online, and instead of, sometimes it'll be interviews like we've done in the past, but we're going to probably get some, maybe not everyone will even be on camera, but we're going to get some good debate on good topics, that being a perfect candidate. If you think of a great topic for discussion amongst maybe some of the heads of state or some of the people who are strongly opinionated on sim racing, be sure to send me those topic ideas at to Sean, S-H-A-U-N, at thesimpit.com, because that's something we're going to be starting up in the next few weeks here. So uh, anyway, at Formula One Game Twitter page, you're going to find Sauber E sport with a few different tom jones with the donation i promise one of these days this graphic's gonna get better because i really appreciate it and i don't know if that graphic does justice to uh to any donation at all thank you very much tom i appreciate that a ton uh so anyway sauber showing off they're gonna be at auto zurich so they have something there and they have a little uh in hall five at auto zurich and you can go drive there Sim rigs with, uh, it looks like a Formula Play seat, if I'm not mistaken, with Fanatic gear on top. Uh, we're off to the races at Auto Zurich. Come stop by Hall 5 and see if you can beat the fastest time around Brazil GP. So everything's Brazil right now in the world of Formula 1, of course. Um, so there you go. You got that at the F1 game. You'd probably also find that at Sauber Esport. Yep, that's who it was retweeted by. Tom is the man. He sure is. Um... What else we have? What else we have going on? Race Room. Race Room has another hot lap. So, you know, again, hot laps is how we learn watching others do. So maybe you're thinking about doing some of that GT World Cup at Macaw. But we've got Moritz Lohner. Uh, I hope he said his name. He's a William Esport driver showing you how to get it done in Race Room, the 911 GTR at Macau. Macaw. Macaw! Macaw! <laughs> Macaw! I should just say it like that, so if I'm saying it wrong, at least I'm making an ass of myself. What else? All right, GT Planet with a couple of stories of relevance for us. Um, this one, not sim racing related, but think about it. 
it will be sim racing related because F1 2018, F1 2019, F1 2020, I see no reason for that series to stop as of now with the success they've had with the boom of eSport and all of that. But in 2020, we are going to see the Vietnam Grand Prix. The Hanoi circuit has been revealed and they have this right up. I saw it at other places, but you know what? I'd rather see it at a sim racing site. So I'd go to GT Planet to watch this story, even though, uh, but yeah, look, they have some cool shots of what will become. Look, that that's like, gee, who do you think built these graphics for them? Anyone have a guess who might have? Just maybe, any chance? You think maybe F1 built those? I don't know. It could be. It could be. I'm not saying it was, but that could have been. Uh, anyway, so there you go. Uh, Hanoi Circuit, Vietnam 2020, coming to you in Codemasters F1 2020, only, uh, f 24 months from now. <laughs> GT Planet, talking about Forza Motors, Forza Motorsport 7, and in 2019, they're gonna have race regulations. Look, everybody's getting more simmy. So you guys say Simcade, but look at even, you know, I don't, I'm not calling Forza Motorsport a Simcade just yet. But let's just say, isn't there a nice push, even from some of the most arcade direction, towards things that we've demanded as sim racers forever? Things like race regulations, leaderboards, um, uh, you know, real life competitions and things like that anyway forza motorsport is got some of that has that coming to it in 2019 you can find that at gt planet one thing i don't know why i haven't mentioned this enough uh race uh, department was talking about it so let's go ahead and talk about it but uh to scuba and charlotte heading to iRacing this december i know we talked about charlotte because we ran that race kind of thinking we were going to get new charlotte but new charlotte is still coming uh so if you watched the NASCAR Roval at Charlotte, it was a completely different version of Charlotte Roval than what we race on iRacing. That version of Charlotte is coming in December along with Tuscuba and, you know, whatever else they're going to actually commit to. Uh, there's a shot. Those are the curbs. If you watch that race, you know that curbing very well. It was sort of the big deal of the track. It's where the big moment was at the end of the race, really. Simi, that is a great dog name. Oh, Dave, you should have hushed up hushed adopted a dog and then put a picture up saying here's my do new dog simmy because now i'll go get a new dog and do it um dan you've been told we can't say what um what did i say what did i say <laughs> also at race department tim they're talking about the newly released we talked about it coming we talked about it being on the way this is a big deal for the truck guys for sure uh, ATS, American Truck Simulator. We talked about the special cargo pack. This was the big boy. This was like when they move like the space shuttle or, you know, these giant uh, uh, tanks, giant boats, giant houses. Well, t small houses. Oh, look at that. Did you see that? He even had a police escort. So this is the special cargo mod uh, DLC. And it's really cheap. I think it was four bucks. I'll double check that. But really, really cool mod. Uh, I call it a mod. It's DLC. It goes for four bucks. We'll call it four pounds. And how how funny? Well, it's because race. It's it's because race department isn't in America. But uh, it goes for four pound. I don't have the conversion right here. But special transport. So Tim, Tim, scuba. It's it's scuba to scuba not to scuba scuba not to scuba simcade dan you cannot you cannot stop me from saying simcade nah f that f that i'm down with simcade as a a a, a i'm sorry they, they uh, who's they <laughs> um arcade simcade simulation I, you know what? I'm not saying that everything is clearly in one of those categories, but it, they could be between categories. Simcade. You, I'm, uh, hashtag don't kill Simcade. Scuba. Sakuba. <laughs> we could do this all day. 
Um, anyway, so that is a big deal for ATS. They put out a lot of stuff. They do put a lot of stuff out to keep that game going, uh, for sure. Rick Motek, you know, they're a sponsor of the show, so I always like to follow their page. Anyway, they just show more fun. We saw Brian Heitkotter. Uh, we talk about AI racing. That's a whole other topic for the Sim Tunnel. Uh... You know, the sim tunnel, AI racing, is it real? Is it legit? What does it lack? I mean, there's so many angles. Is it real? Obviously, this is doing some AI racing. You can tell by the formation of the group. But, hey, they're not running in a straight line together. Uh, but just having some fun at Rickmo Tech down in Miami, Florida. Also, something all of us, anybody with an OSW or a modded wheel has probably come across this problem, but... What do you do with the Sunner Hub? I mean, on a sim experience, they make it a button, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but there's a nice little block-off coat cover out of what looks like carbon fiber. I'm not sure if it's real or not. That's something else they're coming up with. And some changes to their handbrake um, have been made. Is that the same handbrake? I'm so behind on things. I am so behind on things, but that sure looks like one of these, doesn't it? Ah, yeah, it sure does. Anyway, uh, some changes to the hydraulic handbrake from Rickmo Tech, um, and they have that at their face at their Facebook at their Twitter page. All right, what else, you guys? Uh, this was kind of cool. So, I don't know if you guys caught the world's fastest gamer competition documentary series on ESPN. I think it was four pieces, right? Yeah, all four. Uh. Turns out that this weekend, so all four episodes will play on ESPN News Channel from 10 to 11.55 EST, Eastern Standard Time, on Saturday. So if you guys didn't see it and you're going to be hanging out on Saturday doing nothing from 10 to noon Eastern, uh, all four are going to be playing in a row, which is kind of cool. Yes, I am wearing pants. I am wearing pants. Um... If that would be my, my, sorry. <laughs> Sim Racing 604, we said we weren't going to get political. There you go. There you go. Defending my right to say Sim Cade. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, what else we have going on? What else we have going on? Oh, this was also at World's Fastest Gamer. They had a little uh, retweet of Black Book 2018. Confirmed speakers for the Digital Motorsport Summit. I didn't even know such a thing was going on. I didn't get an invitation. Digital Sport Summit. Driving reach and fueling revenue. Anyway, this is going on in Birmingham, UK, January 11th next year. Uh, talking about esports, measuring success, social media, immersive technology, digital economy, and OTT. What's OTT? Someone, please Google OTT for me. What is OTT when talking about uh, marketing or something like that? But Digital Motorsport Summit. Anyway, some of the big speakers there. I mean, Julian Tan of F1, head of growth and esport. That's his job title. Just keep that in mind. F1's job title, head of growth and esport. Interesting combination and not so surprising. Tim Clark of NASCAR, vice president of digital media. When we see all the content online from NASCAR, he's the guy in charge of that. David Gibbs, the digital pro product director for Sky. Ben Payne, director of esports for McLaren. We know about him, including also an advisory board. Ellie Norman of F1, director of marketing. Anyway, some big heads of state, people from WEC, NASCAR, um, Sauber, Jaguar, ExxonMobil, and DHL, of course, big-time sponsors of eSport. Um, so anyway, uh, that's a big deal. Don't know what it'll how it'll impact us, um, but we might have to find out if anything, any big news comes out of that January 11th next year. MotoGP talking about the grand final. I like calling it a finale. I don't know why. Is there a real difference in the word, or am I just making it sound like I'm making it sound? Um... Uh, Brad, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Um. <laughs> I'm not sure. Anyway, I missed something there. Sorry, I can't keep up with all the chat. 
Uh, we have our 12 MotoGP eSport finalists. We've watched all the various eSport competitions to get into the 12 that they're at. And now it's time. It's time! It's time for the MotoGP eSport. And when is this going on? On Friday at 18.30 GMT plus one. A one and a half hour show will be broadcast live worldwide across MotoGP eSport channels, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, plus MotoGP.com and key MotoGP broadcasters. So this, they're making a pretty big deal. It's going to be all over the place if you want to watch it. Again, this is on Friday. Is that on Friday as in tomorrow? Um be nice if they put some dates on their stuff. I mean, this just hit their site yesterday, today. Um, yes, that's why. Sorry, I'm sorry, you guys, but I just, it seems like pretty important information. All right, I don't have time to read it and figure it out. Uh, what would happen if we went to their YouTube channel? Will it show us a timer? Well, they have a video there, so yeah, I, this might be tomorrow. Uh, this very well could be tomorrow. We'll have to kind of double check on that, so there you go. Or if you're really, really, uh, watch it live November 16th. I'm glad I kept, I, my persistence paid off. Live from the Valencia GP, watch it live November 16th, next Friday at 18.30. There you go, there you go, on the story, thank you. Um... Thank you, guys. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for, you know, more than thumbs up, though. Thank you for being here. But if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. It helps us get the word out. The more subscribers we have, the more attention we get and things like that. So true achievements. Talk about get for Forza Horizon 4 and Sea of Thieves. I don't know about that game. Items for watching X08 on Mixer. So apparently, if you go to Mixer.com Xbox... And watch this stream, which will be, uh, I don't have time to look for another date. When is this thing going down? Uh, November 10th at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you want to watch this, you can watch that on their Mixer channel on Xbox, and you can win some Forza Horizon 4 stuff. There you go. Now you know. Upload VR.com. Talking about the HTC Vive, the McLaren T's F1 VR racing experience. So... You know that HTC was one of the sponsors. We, I think we talked about that at some point, but they have a collaboration going on that will be arriving in the West pretty soon. At the China Joy event earlier this year, HTC debuted a partnership with the motor company, putting blah, 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 blah. blah. Anyway, it's going to be in attendance, and where is this thing actually going to be, though? Today, very expensive. Sorry. It's going to be, anyway, uh, what it's basically kicking off is a location-based tournament that they're going to be toting around from place to place and venue to venue. So, anyway, you can find more about that at UploadVR.com. I think you can find that at McLaren's page as well. I just might have missed it over there, didn't duplicate the story. Uh, what else? 26 more likes, and he grows the beard back. <laughs> Oh, I'll grow it back. Fine. Fine. No, I won't do shirtless. At least not until I uh, get in shape. All right. Forgive me for drinking. Uh, sportspromedia.com. Gfinity and talks with F1 over a multi-year esport contract. So they are now talking about continuous continuation of the esports series that we already know so uk based gaming operator gfinity is in discussions with formula one around a multi-year extension to its esports series its esport the one that we're already seeing according to ex executive chairman gary cook in addition to that in that executive G chairman gary cook calls on ferrari to get with the times Get hip with the program, Ferrari. Get involved, and in you're. How do you be the only ones not? Ferrari are so Ferrari. Uh, MPFirst.com talked about Gran Turismo Sport, the new car prices from the update. You know, we talked about all those cars you could get. You know, the not the Magnum GI Ferrari GTO, but 
we also didn't even talk about pricing. But anyway, I'm just going to, there it is. If you want to, <laughs> if you want to quickly get a glance, if you were curious what they would charge you for those upgraded cars, if you haven't checked yet, round is a shape. <laughs> yes, it is, Stan. <laughs> uh, the beard was badass. No, you know what? I, I, in all, in full disclosure, I shaved the beard. Here's the, here's where we're at. I just, I don't know why we do this with this show. What the hell? Um, so I had the beard and then I took the gig in Orlando, which I'll tell you more about. Um, and I'm like, you know, they hired me to be Sean of the Sim Pit. They probably don't watch the show every day. They probably aren't thinking bearded, scruffy Sean. So I thought, well, I better shave it. Well, it happened to be Halloween. And I'm like, well, if there's ever a day to change your look, it's Halloween. So I'm like, cool, I'll do it that it, Halloween actually happens to be the last day of October, and November goes by Movember, and I thought, ha, how ironic. I'm the guy who shaved his beard the day before Movember. Anyway, and I wanted to shave it early enough to get color back on my face so I didn't look like I just shaved a beard before I went into the trade show. So, anyway, there you go. Lower the sound. Is my sound really, really, really loud? But I am willing to. Who's keeping track of thumbs up? If you get 24 more, sure, I'll grow a new beard. There you go. Challenge accepted. Thumb culture, talking about mud runner, American wild, spin tire. The, the sound might be a little loud because I am sitting forward and uh, blasting into my microphone and I'm a little pumped up. Uh, <laughs> hashtag bring back the beard. Um iRacing reveal? Do you mean to scuba? <laughs> Do you mean Charlotte Roval? Is that what we were talking about? Uh, Mudrunner, American Wilds, talking about the American Wilds DLC review. Come in, Rubberneck. I haven't seen many reviews out there. Uh, I think we've talked about that one before. Um, beard oil trade. <laughs> Little does Sean know it's beard oil trade show. Oh, that'd be horrible. Uh... No, no. All right. Road to VR. Black Friday. You guys, you got to start getting ready for Black Friday. It's it's here. If you have been thinking about, again, if you want something super specific, don't get your heart too set. But if you're ready to spend some money, you might want to wait just a little while. It's a couple weeks away. Lenovo Black Friday sale to bring a $100 discount to both Mirage Solo VR headset and VR 180 camera. Um, I also heard, I don't know the story here, but I know that Best Buy is going to drop the price on the Oculus to $350, and I think it included five games, perhaps. Um, so all you guys got to do is tell me whether I need to wait or whether it's time to get it back uh, or get with the VR. Not get it back. I was on the beard thought still. Uh, is it time at 350? Do I have to pull the trigger? I've been I've been waiting for that 350 price point, um, and and I you know, but now I'm kind of feeling like is it just Johnny come lately? I mean, I, the new ones are coming out. The new new ones are here. Um, news. I racing say. You know what? I had that. Hold on. I'm gonna get that for you next. Coming to you next. This just in. I guess iRacing memberships are on sale. So let's see. We are at the first best one. Paste and go. There you go. Sign up today. So new memberships. Is this what we're talking about? 50% off all new memberships. Is there a sale on... Is there a sale on regular memberships or just on new memberships? But again, if you haven't tried out iRacing... I love iRacing. They don't pay me to say that. I'm just telling you, I love iRacing. But one month, six fifty. Three months, sixteen fifty. Regularly, thirty three bucks. You can get a year right now if you're not a member. You can sign up for a year for fifty five bucks, which is fifty percent off. Two years for ninety nine fifty. That's a pretty good deal right there. You still need to buy content, and you know all the pros and cons of iRacing are realistic. But I mean. That's where we've been hanging out and racing a lot lately and having a lot of fun with it. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, thank you. Thank you, uh, Amir. Dan says he would not. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm like, I've just waited too long. I waited too long. That price was available almost a year ago. 
Uh, renewing price, 12 months. Thank you. You guys are so awesome. Michael, you are the real star of today's show. Renewing sale, 12-month renewal, only $77. Regularly, $110. 24-month renewal, only $139.30. Regularly priced $199. That's 30% off, it sounds like. They used to do 50% off, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Dan's Oculus sits on the shelf. So thank you for that, uh, Michael. Brandon, uh, Michael, use code... PR early 30 off for the 12 month. Use PR code early 300 or early 30 off 24. I'm sorry, 12 month PR early 30 off 12 for 12 month. PR early 30 off 24 for 24 month renewal. That's the the code you put in when getting it. So there you go. It's still a good savings. 30 buck percent is 30 percent. I mean. On $100, that's 30 bucks. Boom. There you go. Um, there you go. Tom, making deals. Yeah, maybe at 250 Maybe at 250 I don't feel so Johnny-come-lately. All right, what else we have? Uh, Road to VR, talking about Best Buy holiday deals slash prices on Oculus Rift, PSR, bundles, and more. Oh, that's where I found out. I thought it was on my phone. <laughs> nope, I had the story right here, but there it is. 350 it's the full bundle with the controllers uh two receivers and includes five bundle games robo recall lucky's tail quill medium and dead and buried i don't know if any of those are even very good or not um available november 22nd or 24th anyway um there you go Yeah, Brandon run, runs his all the way. I really like to. I I kind of need another computer to do what I really want to do, so it's a little more complicated. Maybe what I need to do is build the other computer, and then build a rig. Anyway, I'm pretty much to the end of the news. I have a few more things to tell you about. Our buddy Mitchy Hoyer is throwing a con a, a contest, so this one's a little harder, a little harder than uh, a Photoshop for uh, for F1 2018, but. He is doing a logo design challenge, so Mitchie Hoyer looking to brand himself. It looks like the winner will receive a t-shirt with the winning logo. So you'll find all those at his patron uh, account. Just go to patron.com and look up Mitchie Hoyer. You'll find that. Racing going on tonight, the Sim Pit series, the Sim Pit F2004. They're all Ferraris in this case. Uh, outside of uh, uh, paint schemes. Can you sell any of those games? I'm not sure. Robo Recall and Dead and Buried are great games. Buy that and sell yours for a hundred. <laughs> really, Brandon? Um, not that I want yours for a hundred. Why? What's wrong with it for a hundred? Amazon's also going to sell it for three forty nine. Yeah, but Amir, if I can get it at Best Buy, I'd buy it at Am I or Amazon. I buy it at Best Buy because I can have it in five minutes. With a little walk, just a little fresh air, and I have it. Um, only 14 more likes for the beard, people. I will grow it the day I return. You guys get that number. I'll do it. I'll do it just for the heck of it. You know it. Anyway, uh, tonight, they are at AIA. Where? Uh, I forgot. I had it on my head. Uh, it is... Oh... Al Carve International, Al Grave, Al Grave International, something like that. Uh, Autodromo International, Al Grave, is that what it is? AIA, that's where they're racing tonight. So there's a big turnout that's been coming out. Tonight's race, eight hours, 20 minutes or so. No, it's about eight hours from now. Uh, maybe less than that. But on Sim Racing Systems with the Seto Corsa. And right now, Will Dawson leads in the points by just a handful of points over Heiko Sherman. Heiko! And Brian Carter in third. Rick Longano in fourth. Sean Seabrand sitting in fifth spot. So this is going to be the third race of the season, and you can uh, get over there if you're looking for something to do. I'll tell you guys about the trade show. Um, I'll mention it, and I'll show you more tomorrow, maybe. I was to wait until tomorrow, and but... Algarve, a.k.a. Portimao. Portimao. I've never been there, I don't think. I'd have to double check. 
Uh, Brandon got his new logo. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Ah, oh, Amir, yep, I understand that. Autodromo International Algarve, a.k.a. Portimao. There you go. So, uh, Gauntlet has been thrown. No, this is a congratulations. So, Hendo! I wish I had my Hendo mug today. Grant Henderson is in the lead in his series he's been running. So, he's been running the Ferrari Challenge. And what division are you running in? Um, division three, you're up in the high divisions and you are leading the way. You got to, I can barely read it. It's a little grainy, but I want to congratulation, congratulate our very own Grant Henderson on uh, doing very well in that challenge. So between Grant and Hendo, we have some of our own pit crew leading the way in their divisions on iRacing. And let's see, we already talked about that, so that's the end. Uh, trade show, real quick. So uh, just to mention real quick, I'll have more details tomorrow. But I'm working a trade show f next week. It's called IAPA. I don't remember what that actually stands for, but it's basically for the amusement industry. So anything from, literally, anything from a cotton candy machine that you would find at a carnival to a full-blown metal roller coaster that you would find at magic mountain though that is the two ends of the spectrum of the trade show that i'm working and what has happened over the last period of time is a lot of more in the midwest here than out here on the coastline but uh family fun centers or family entertainment centers are starting to pop every, everywhere you know like it makes dave and buster seem like a yesterday thought because they're including like go-kart tracks bowling alleys uh, a, a complete arcades, uh, bars, restaurants, the works, and sim centers, or or a portion of that real estate being used at as a sim center, has become a big thing. And so all the big sim companies are now showing up at IAPA. So that's where I will be. And tomorrow I'll tell you who I'm working for and uh, tell you a little bit more about what we'll probably see. And I should have some good content from there this year as well. So. Anyway, it should be a very tr good trade show, but it means that I am off the air. I'll be here for tomorrow night's race in the trucks, and then I'm off the air until the Mazda race next Sunday. That's the span of time between being on the air and off the air. So just want to give you a heads up on that, but I'll have a little bit more details on that tomorrow since it'll be my last version of the pit stop before we leave. But that is going to do it for today's show. Did you guys get the likes? Beard? No bar beard? I'm going to have to check up on it after the show, see the final count, and uh, double check what our goal was and see if we get it. But it's gonna, that is going to do it for today's show. Hope you guys have a great uh, week. Get out there, do some racing, and I will be back tomorrow to finish off everything before we leave town. This is The Sim Pit. I'm Sean Cole, and I'll see you on the track.